Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road and right now they're clearing the alternative routes for the Tandang Sora flyover since it will be closed tomorrow. They just stopped this gentleman here riding around a motorcycle helmet. When they asked to see his license, he said he doesn't have one. You see there's no plates on the bike either, so they're going to be impounding this. You can see the tow crew just came over now. And the enforcers are also talking to the tricycle drivers. There's a lot of Calorum tricycles in this area. I'm not saying they're Calorum, but there are a lot in this area. And what the MMDA are trying to protect is this legitimate tricycle terminal just over here. Um, because, you know, they're following the rules, they have the permits, everything like that and uh, yeah they want to protect them so far no tricycle has been impounded it's just been tickets for illegal loading unloading and they're telling people please use the terminal and you might remember from a previous video there was a store here that was selling items and uh, it's now gone last time it was ticketed by the mmda for obstructing what should be the sidewalk and today it's really gone so i guess that's an improvement and now obviously pedestrians can walk through here freely again and you'll see a team just arrived from qc dpos uh, local city enforcers along with some pmp uh, it's always good to have extra hands and over here the team are issuing a ticket to this vehicle for illegal parking and obstruction the bigger problem though is on the other side there's a lot of vulcanizing shops and there's a lot of parked vehicles so I think they're going to have to crack down on that because it's going to cause a lot of traffic once the flyover is closed. And over here they're issuing a ticket to this tricycle parked on the sidewalk. And over here the sidewalk clearing team are looking to clear up this area. You can see many of the businesses have kind of expanded over the sidewalk. There's a lot of people waiting here. I guess this must be a common place for jeepneys. And out comes the Bosch reciprocating saw. It's going through that like butter. Of course the reality is if you don't keep on top of this stuff, it starts with a roof, then the next thing it will be a wall, and then it will be bricks, or breeze blocks, hollow blocks, and then before you know it the sidewalk's gone completely. Someone did come out to complain that they weren't aware you can't build over the sidewalk, but the team have continued. And there you go, they just finished now. Sidewalk is open, it's clean, it's bright. It's exactly how a sidewalk should be. Well, it should be a little bit wider, but it's a lot better than it was before. Over here, the team are issuing a ticket to this Innova parked here. That will be illegal parking plus obstruction. And across the road, there is issuing tickets to these two mobile canteens. They do have motorcycles attached, which means they can be ticketed for illegal parking and obstruction. And potentially, this kind of vehicle could get impounded because it's very unlikely that LTO approve this design uh, but i don't think that will happen i'm just saying i think it could in fact regardless of the design this vehicle is getting impounded because the driver said he doesn't have a license although the driver of this one also said he doesn't have a license the bike does have a plate on the back so they're going to issue a ticket to the plate and they won't be impounding this one if you look along here you'll see sidewalk oh this is nice and then when you get here boom businesses um i don't know what they're going to do because these are quite substantial buildings there's even a little lottery store here. Aside from the fact that it's unfair for pedestrians, it's also unfair for local businesses that are really following the rules. And you'll see they're putting that on the back of the truck to make sure it doesn't get reinstalled. And over on the other side, they're trying to do the same thing, clear down these structures that have been built across the sidewalk. And right next to that is a more permanent structure. I don't think they can remove something like this, at least not today. Uh, so they've been asking whoever owns this, please self-demolish. Uh, so that the MMDA don't have to do it. Of course, the problem with this one is aside from the structure they built above, they've also made this big concrete slab for the pool table, the billiard table. Um, so even if the sidewalk is clear, there's a big bump, but that's still an improvement over before. Across the road, the team are issuing a ticket to this vehicle. Over here, the team are issuing a ticket to this van for illegal parking and obstruction. You can see there's a sign right there, no parking both sides. So they're also issuing a ticket to this one for obstructing the sidewalk. The driver was trying to tell the enforcer that this is actually owned by the condo building. But it's very unlikely because normally you have a sidewalk and then you have a setback or an easement. So I'm pretty sure this is uh, owned by the government. And over here they're issuing a ticket to this one. Uh, unfortunately, it's from a driving school. So you'd hope that they would set a good example for other people, but they'll issue a ticket and then send them on their way. And over here the team are working on removing all these chairs. They've been tied to the posts here. The thing is this should be a sidewalk that people can walk through. Uh, there shouldn't be a wall of chairs here. So I think they're gonna be putting these on the back of their truck. And aside from the chairs that they're loading up, they've also got a chimney or an oven here. These are often found on the sidewalk. And uh, further along the road, people are already rushing to remove their obstructions that are hanging over the sidewalk or extending onto the sidewalk. 
before the team get here so it won't get confiscated. Uh, hopefully they won't just put them out again once the team leave. And you'll see there's actually been a number of motorcycles impounded because the drivers didn't have licenses. And over here the team are looking at this red car. You can see it's parked right next to the fire hydrant. Uh, this is some kind of repair shop. There have been vehicles ticketed here before so they're aware that they're not allowed to park here.